I'm back here with another video on Ron Brown's YouTube channel where um, we do a lot of drone uh, coverage and cover all sorts of things, uh, small cameras and action cameras that, that creators would need, but, uh, you know, solo content creators would need. But today is a drone video. The DJI Avada 2, um, but his favorite new FPV drone in 2024, it replaced the extremely popular Avada 1. Now we have the uh, Avada 2. Uh, here it is, you know, uh, in all its glory here. But today we're going to have the talk. And, uh, you know, what I mean by the talk is, you know, there's things in life you don't always want to talk about, like life insurance and things like that. And also another subject that you don't want to always talk about is uh, ND filters. Yes, ND filters. Uh, nobody, nobody likes to talk about them. Nobody gets excited about them. But if you do want to get that, that natural motion blur in your videos, uh, especially with the FPV drone, that typically you're going to be flying lower and closer to objects than you did your camera drones, uh, you will need, uh, you know, a set of ND filters. And uh, also, you know, even with exposure, it helps keep your, you know, even when you're not fl necessarily flying near anything with, uh, you know, a lot of uh, potentially motion blur, it just helps keep the exposure uh, down, you know, if you're in extremely bright situations or whatever. Even you know, you just don't want your shutter, you know, up, up you know, real 2,000, 3,000 a second if you don't need to. So anyhow, uh, you've heard this a million times. So what we have today is the four pack of uh, filters from Start RC and the four pack of filters from uh, Freewell and their exact same uh, specs. We Each pack has an 8, 16, 32, and 64 in it. So uh, what we're gonna do is a little test here. People always talk about, you know, color shifting and color banding and, and all this stuff that ND filters are doing to their footage here. So uh, what we're gonna, we're gonna test all that out today. So we're gonna make my first run, gonna try to make these runs almost the same exact runs. Uh, the first run's gonna be like no ND filter on, um, second run's going to be one or the other, whatever I happen to pick up or whatever, you know, say the second one's going to be the start RC and I'll, I'll put that in. It could be the other one, then, then the free wells or whatever. So we'll go again, three runs, one, no filter, start RC and, um, free well. And it's a extremely bright day today. So we're going to pick a high filter, maybe a 32, maybe even a 64, but I'll determine that, uh, you know, when I get, uh, everything booted up here. So, okay, sit back, uh, grab a, a, a cold beverage, maybe a snack. Uh, this is going to be, uh, it's going to be a nail biter here. You know, ND filters doesn't get more exciting, right? Okay.
Okay, well, in conclusion, um, you know, let's uh, go over some of the um, parameters of the video here. Um, each flight was maybe like I flew in the air, maybe in the air 10 minutes or less, five to 10 minutes, landed, you know, uh, did the next flight again, five to 10 minutes in the air, landed, it, you know, quickly uh, changed the ND filters back up again. So, I mean, we did have, um, it, was, it was a late afternoon light. The sun was starting to set, so it did uh, create some, um, you know, I'm going to call exposure issues and some shadows. But I did fly, you know, each each time I flew the drone, I flew it in into the, you know, exposure, which, of course, is tough for any drone. Then I flew it away, you know, with the uh, uh, the sun at the, uh, the drone's back. And usually that creates a more pleasing image. So you saw it, you know, both ways, you know, so you saw how to handle it. The, of course, the um, Avada 2 is much better, better at handling it. Um, things like that than the Avada 1 because the 2 has much better dynamic range in it. So, um, yeah. So, otherwise, um, you know, uh, Chris, the first flight was, um, you know, no, no filters. We used Dr. Auto settings or whatever. Everything was on auto for K60, but everything else was, was autoed up, uh, you know. And then we flew the second flight with the Start RC and D32. Again, uh, all Dr. Auto settings there. Um, and then third flight was the um, Freewell F uh, ND32 filter. Uh, same same deal, uh, Dr. Auto settings. And then we brought it into, um, you know, a um, Final Cut timeline, uh, you know, and we just, you know, me, you know, cut the video up in the segments. We didn't do any color grading or you know any any type of uh, enhancement to the uh, video whatsoever. So um, yeah, I'm not going to give you any uh, you any of my thoughts or whatever. Um, well, I'll let you put it down below what you you know you thought uh, how each filter looked and and how it looked without the filter. Um, you know, I, I get this every time I put a filter video up. How's the color cast or something like that? Well, you tell me. You're, you're seeing, you know, uh, you're seeing the, you know, uh, again, no no filter, uh, start RC, um, pretty well. So you tell me about the color cast. Did you see any color cast in any of the filters, all the filters? Um, uh, did it help you see motion blur? I tried to fly, you know, uh, uh, close to some things so you could possibly see. You know, a, a little motion blur. Now, I, I didn't go in and, and, you know, change my settings to the, um, you know, I was shooting at uh, 60 frames. So I didn't go in and change the shutter, the, the 120. Um, if we got 120, that was just because I had the right ND filter. And I mean, I'll give you one personal opinion. The, you know, without an ND filter, you could see we had exposure issues. We were way overexposed. Now, I could have fixed that without filters. I could have just... Um, you know, turn the EV down, let's say negative seven, and probably got a better I exposure. But of course, we put the filter on, that kind of helps take care of that for you too. It cuts down some of the exposure coming in. And of course, it also helps, you know, slow your uh, shutter down. So, because it doesn't have to, you know, crank the shutter way up, uh, you know, to, to control the exposure. So yeah, I, I think that's about it. You know, um, I, I could say in the video, if you have any questions about the testing uh, uh, down below, I don't know if I mentioned this before, um, I was set to start RC filters from start RC, but um, I purchased the um, Freewell filters on my own. Now, uh, Start RC did not pay me to make this video, or you know, uh, they didn't give me any talking points. They had no editorial control over this video whatsoever. And uh, you know, I, I didn't fly the same exact route. But my intention was to fly a pretty similar route. I didn't, I didn't really fly that similar of a route. So you know, I, I did not in any way try to fly it to, to make the Start RC look better, you know, than the than the Freewell. And you know, just between you and me. I couldn't see much of a difference anyways. One didn't look any better than the other to me. But again, you put your thoughts and comments down below. And I could I will I will throw links down below for both the filters sets I was using the Star C and the Free Well. And I will throw a link down for the pocket three. Please um you know, uh, I'm not a real big YouTube channel. I don't make that much money off the AdSense, but you know, so if you use my links to pick up a few things, even if you don't, even if you use my link, even if you don't, even if you don't buy the, the filters or whatever, if you use the link to get into Amazon and purchase something else, I still get the, you know, a, a small commission, Amazon a sell, a, a affiliate sale, seller fee. I can't spit that all out. So uh, yeah, and uh, but but you know, all the usual stuff. You know, uh, uh, you know, like the video. Um, 
you know, subscribe, uh, ring the bell, all, all that usual good stuff. It does help me. You know, it does help out. That's got my videos shown to more people rather than just my subscribers if you give the old likes. Okay, so that's it. Uh, I'm not going to talk anymore. I hope you enjoyed the video, and we'll see you on the next one, folks.